Let's talk about the biomechanics of the stance phase of sprinting. So as our foot comes in contact with the ground, we see concentric action of the hip extensors. This is true if we contact with the foot underneath the hip. But if the foot is too far out in front at initial contact, we see more of a braking force, which we typically want to reduce. Also in this early stance phase, we see eccentric activation of the calf muscles. So the calf muscles plantar flex the foot, but they also control the landing forces or eccentrically activate on initial contact. In mid stance, we see some more eccentric muscle actions to control those landing forces. But then as we get towards the late stance phase, approaching toe off, that's when we start to get more concentric muscle actions. Two of the primary concentric muscle actions are concentric hip extension or activation of the glutes to propel your center of mass forward, as well as plantar flexion or activation of the calf muscles and pushing off to see that toe off phase. There are some other small muscle actions as well, which we do cover on the full sprinting biomechanics video on YouTube. Follow for more training tips.